tell me what you want to wear today. You want to wear a dress or something blue? And now, of course, we're not going anywhere because we are social distancing and everything's closed, but you can wear this pretty dress for school anyway, right? Because we we just bought all these pretty clothes and, and then we got hit with this stay-at-home stuff. So you're allowed to wear it. You want to wear this? Okay. So we'll wear this, okay? Morning, guys. Today I'm excited to bring you on a day in the life of our homeschool during this time of uncertainty in our lives so to give you a quick recap in case you know you're watching this in the future and this whole time is over we are in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic where all public schools have been shut down now i am already a homeschooler to two out of my three children my oldest child went to school this year for the first time but it's back to homeschool and this week is the first week of her virtual schooling. She's never done virtual school before. When she was homeschooled, I homeschooled her with my own curriculum and the way that I do things. So this is her first time virtual schooling, but I'm so proud of her. She's so responsible. She woke up very early this morning to get on her computer, to read through all her emails that explain to her how to virtual school, how the attendance is going to be marked, how to get everything, what time her, like her uh, live, teaching lessons were and so she's been up in her room all morning listening to her live lessons and doing knocking out assignments i brought her breakfast up to her room she's comfortable tucked in her bed with her pajamas on her laptop on her lap and she's just knocking stuff out she's gonna have a nice relaxing day to play the sims and just hang out later on so us on the other hand me and my other two children we have not started school yet but I like to start the morning. We're gonna have a nice breakfast. I'm gonna have a time of devotion while the kids play, and then we are gonna get started on our day. So here it is. Okay, so we're gonna have eggs, toast and cream cheese, and a fruit smoothie for breakfast. And then we eat these little vitamins, these little elderberry vitamins every day to keep everybody's immune system up right now. But Arlen doesn't like them, right? You don't like them? You're making shadow puppets? We just got new light bulbs and all these lights, and so there's a major shadow. Not, not all and of them, only two. Only two? Well, that makes a big difference. So before I go in and start school with the kids, I just did a quick devotional in my book here because I didn't wake up before, I did wake up before the kids, but I didn't jump to my devotional time. I don't even know what I did instead. But um, what I did learn today was that I need to take more time to be in God's word and to learn how to meditate on that people who worry are master meditators we're already used to meditating but we meditate on the wrong kinds of things right now i'm going to go inside and we're going to get our school day started we're doing things differently and i'm going to excited to show you guys what that looks like all right so what do you want to get started with let's go look at our morning starters these are his options i've added more options for you so we have this fun family chess which is really cool and i really like it because it has a reference card and God knows I need a reference card. All right, yeah, that's better. I won, but I won. it was a no, good I game. Won. It was a good game. My dad was on the board last. Yeah. <laughs> He's funny. All right, so now we're moving over to Beast Academy. And no. that's what we're doing now. And then Arlen and I are going to go do a scavenger hunt. No, we're going to do after because I need to spend some time with your sister. But we're not done our thingy. No, we said we were going to do morning starter, math morning starter. No, we didn't. Aaron, I have to do stuff with your sister. I didn't agree to that. I didn't sign the contract. 
Look at this beautiful school table, dining table. <laughs> this is where I do all my stuff. I have to clean it off today. Mom. Okay, this is Beast Academy. Mom. Read this top part. I've been trying to multiply some bigger numbers. That makes things more difficult. Not for me. But it does require more paper. Ah, ha, ha, he wrote it bigger. Wonk, wonk. So the lesson isn't a comic. It's funny. Sometimes it gives you reasons why you need the math. Right now he's doing multiplication. He already knows how to multiply. Aaron, I actually have to look. What lesson are you doing right now? Because you already know how to multiply. All right, let's see. Okay, no, that's good. Large numbers, multiplying large numbers. It's actually awesome. So he's going to be learning today to multiply large numbers. Okay, so Aaron has to flip the card and he's going to end up getting this because I'm not reading. And then it says touches Tennessee. So we have to look at the cards up here to see which one touches Tennessee. So since we did our map, we can come over to Tennessee. We find Tennessee, which is over here. So here's Tennessee. And then whoever finds their state oh, first, Alabama. Give me that card. which he did. And he gets to keep Alabama and put it down there in his pile. So for our homeschool co-op, I teach a science class to preschoolers called Learning Science Through Creation. So we go through the Genesis story of creation and we learn science through it. So today we are talking about um, camouflage. So I have to make, our co-op obviously is closed right now, so I have to make an online video for my kids every week. So I recorded most of it yesterday, so today Arlen has to do the two activities so that I can finish that. So I'll be doing school with her and I will be knocking out this video that I have to do and submit for tomorrow. So let's go ahead and do that now. Tell me what camouflage is. You touch something and then you change into the color of it. Okay, that's what chameleons do. But camouflage is when an animal, some of them are already the same color. So it's it's the way that an animal uses the things around it to hide from its predator. For example, a frog might be green and hide in green grass. Or it might be brown and hide in a tree or in dead leaves because it has to hide in things that are the same color. Yeah, but or it could just open we can just open that and it can jump in because predators can't open it. Right, inside this and there, there is a frog that lives in there. Something that eats an animal and then another animal eats it. Right, so the animal that eats the other animal and hunts for the animal is a predator. And do you remember the one that gets eaten, what that one is called? The one that's being chased? Prey. Right? So right now, you have froggies that are brown and green and they're camouflaged, not because they changed color, but because they already are the color of green and brown. So they're gonna hang out in things that are green or brown. Ready? Okay, so we did our little camouflage activity. Now yesterday when we were out here, before it got uh, right in the evening when it was nice and cool, I had her collect, as I was making my video, some things in nature because we're gonna do a camouflage art now. So she picked up some leaves and some grass and some little tiny rocks. So we're gonna go do that now. I want it to look. Yes. You're no, just I want gonna, it to look. You have to color the whole page. Yeah, that's good, I like that tree. Okay, so we're gonna finish up Arlen's school by now we're doing. We're gonna do hopscotch first. That's gonna be for fun. No, first we're gonna do a reading lesson from Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. We are only on lesson um, eight. Have you done my timers basically? Yeah, go eat. Aaron's gonna go eat lunch. Arlen already had lunch. Kaylee just had lunch. 
and oh, Katie's yeah. socializing like crazy right now, which I'm allowing her to do with her best friend because she's a preteen. She's gonna be a teenager this year, oh. and you know, social time is very important for them. Um, and she's used to being in school with kids all day and her friends. So, this is actually her homeschooled best friend from when she was homeschooled. So that's nice. So she's hanging out with her all day on the phone. And I'm a-okay with that because she already did her schoolwork and stuff. Mom, so anyway, you like your necklace? I love my necklace and we're going to do this reading lesson and really not going to record that because it's it's a little long and... No, I want you to record it, record it, record it, record it, record it, record it. Record it. So for language arts today, yeah. we are doing, we use the good and the beautiful level three. We're going to review the spelling rule number three, which is what letters to use for the k sound in words. Then we're going to do a reading challenge, which is historical fiction. We're going to read about why historical fiction is good, the literary value of it, the moral values, and the educational values. Now, I can't find any of these books. I'm sure we have them. I've been looking everywhere. I don't know. But I do have this one called The Big Wave. So this looks like a historical fiction to me. And then uh, then we're going to go into our right shop curriculum. And we're going to just write a story. We talked the other day. We did this. And we're in our brainstorming, we... We have our characters, we're doing a superhero story, so we have our characters and their powers, we have what the problem is, how, our solution, our where, and our why. This is good. Okay, so we're going to read the big wave, well we meaning he. Kino lives on a farm on the side of a mountain in Japan. Go find Japan on the map. Japan. There's even waves on the map. So it's an island, so it's surrounded by water. So a big wave could definitely hit Japan, huh? In the presence of danger that one learns to be brave and to appreciate how wonderful life can be. So this kind of, you can apply this to now, Aaron. Right now we're living in a time of danger. We can't even go outside. We can't even get near our neighbors without worrying about getting this, this horrible illness, right? We can't even get our packages without worrying about it being contaminated by this virus. So right now we're living in the presence of danger and we're, we have to learn to be brave and appreciate how wonderful life can be. Because aren't we having a beautiful time as a family together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're having so much fun. So life is wonderful because we have each other. And we I have like all these things. The house. I'm glad. So guys, this is a good book to read right now. The Big Wave. Because of the moral of the story. Alright, so read to me. Aaron's going to read this to me about historical fiction and everything I shared with you guys. And then he's going to have some quiet time to read this while I do something with Aralyn. Okay, so for science today, we are learning, uh, we're doing the Good and the Beautiful Mammals Unit, but we're only going to do 15 minutes of it because it gets kind of long. Um, and we're learning about even-toed ungulates. So we're going to read Mammals of a Small Pond for 10 minutes and then do some of these other activities. And then I'm ready to end the day. It's almost 4 o'clock and I want to, I have to edit my video for my co-op class, which is what I'm going to do after that. And then we're supposed to barbecue today for dinner. A woodpecker beat at the bark of the big maple tree. The sound awakened the raccoon. She opened. Oh, and mom, in Minecraft, in Greek mythology, guess what? What? There's um. There's horses that are like, like mermaid horses. Oh my 
and there's other horses that are like Pegasus. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, without the horn. Ah, so, so our like last a horse with wings. Yeah, I like Pegasus. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just talk about horse Pega. breeds, and I'm gonna read a short description of the different breeds, and he's gonna try to match them to the pictures, and then my boy, you're done school for today. So what are you gonna do when you're done Wait, school for today? So. <laughs> I have no idea. Are you going to build mm. Legos? Are you going to play outside? Are you going to ride no. a bike? No. Are you going to read and study? No. What are you going to do? Play video games. <laughs> play video games, of course. So I have 14 hours, right? Yes, 14 hours of Four? video games left. 14. Four? 44. Four hours left? Two. The most common horse in the western United States is the American Quarter Horse. These horses are well known. I, I, lay on I think I remember a taper having hooves. Yeah. Okay, so let's see fox, leopard, wild boar, hippos, squirrels, koalas, lions, cheetahs, raccoons, and tiger. Good. And then deer, giraffes, zebras, and tapers are ungulates because they have hooves. So there you go, a homeschool day in the life. We are done. We got a lot of things done. It's four o'clock, which is great because we're not allowed to go anywhere or leave the house. So having less boredom time leads to less screen time. So that's great for me, but not for them. <laughs> so um, we still have a lot of nice things planned, but that's going to be in the next video that's going to be titled our after school routine. Um, so you're going to see a lot of that in the next video. So our plans for tonight I am going to go work on my video for a co-op. The kids are going upstairs to have their, they get two hours of screen time during the week if they've had a great school day, which they had an excellent school day. And then we are, my husband is supposed to barbecue and grill outside. So while he's cooking dinner, we're all, I'm going to try to get the kids outside and play some tag and some games and stuff like that. And then we'll eat dinner on our little table outside and then we'll come back in. I'm going to- Are you freaking kidding me? Huh? Eating eggs? Baby. You just cut right in the middle. Oh, sorry. Then we're going to come back in and we are going to um, have everybody shower, put the jammies on, and we're going to watch video number four of our Harry Potter series, which we've been thinking about all day and we're super excited to do that. So that's the plan for the rest of the day. If you like videos like these, Day in the Lives, then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will continue to make more of them for you. Every day honestly looks completely different for us, especially now with a new routine. So I'm going to be shooting more videos like this depending on how you guys like this one. And um, so that's it. So stay tuned for lots more videos and we'll see you guys next time.